In the previous video, we covered the functionalities and applications of transfer switches. In this video, we will discuss the various ATS transition modes. There are multiple ways by which the load is transferred by the ATS from one source to another. These are referred to as transition modes. The primary transition modes between power sources for a transfer switch are open transition and closed transition. Open transition can be either in phase or delayed. Open transition is known as break before make switching action. With open transition, there will always be some period of time when another source is connected to the load. In some applications, it is ideal to minimize that period of time, while in other applications, it is good to delay that period of time by choosing delay transition. In a simple open transition operation between two life sources, the connected loads experience power interruption for 50 to 80 milliseconds. This transition type is suitable for resistive and small motor loads less than 20 horsepower. When transferring between two life sources, it is important that the sources are in sync with each other, phase, voltage, and frequency. The transfer switch will monitor both sources and allow transfer only when the life sources are in sync. This is known as in-phase transition. Let us demonstrate this operation. The ATS moves from one live source to another without any time delays or stopping in the center off position. In situations where the loads are large motors or other stored energy devices such as MRI machines, it is recommended to wait for some finite amount of time to allow the residual voltage on the load to decay to a safe level before transferring. This is to avoid causing any damage to the load. Therefore, a time-delayed transfer must be used. If a large motor load is powered by the generator and the utility source becomes available, before transferring back to the utility source, the ATS mechanism stops in the center off position for a predefined amount of time to allow the residual voltage to decay to a safe level. Finally, closed transition transfer, also known as make before break, offers uninterrupted transfer of the load by momentarily paralleling between both life sources for less than 100 milliseconds. Therefore, there is no power interruption to the load. Because closed transition involves momentarily paralleling with the utility, utilities often require additional protective functions when closed transition is applied. In order to achieve closed transition, with the transfer switch, the hardware of the ATS must be capable of closed transition operation. This concludes the transfer switch transition modes overview. Thank you for watching. The next topic is bypass transfer switches and their applications.